and the, it, the, sometimes it's more is oh my god This is Sandra here. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. I hope you're gonna enjoy your stay. And you might be wondering, Sandra, why are you wearing this strange dressing gown? Well, I think you're only gonna wonder this if you're new here. So basically, the very first episode of this project, I started filming in my onesie because I wanted to feel nice and comfortable. And then I just decided to keep going with it and I think the second time around, maybe? No, I still had it done the second time around. And then after that, my onesie broke and I couldn't find a onesie that I liked. So I decided to replace it with my Gryffindor dressing gown. So here we go. But again, you will know it by the title, but this is the Partners in Cream Project pen. And this was started by Steph and her friend Darlin. I'm going to link both of them and the playlist down below so you can check out more videos just like this. And basically this project, as the name suggests, is all about using up those cream products that otherwise you might just neglect in your collection, which I think is a super great idea. So thank you again for Steph and Dallin for starting this project. It's so much fun and for now it looks like this project will run. I cannot talk. It seems like this project will run for a year and then I guess after that we'll see and we have monthly updates but that's it about the details and let's hop into the update. Also, I decided to wear a messy bun because my friend kept telling me I should wear a bun so Mihaela, this is for you. <laughs> so the first product is one that's been in here since the beginning and it's my Tom Ford blush in the shade Pink Sand and I love this blush. I'm wearing it today as well under a powder brush, so I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it a lot. But I love it. It gives a really soft hint of pink to the skin while also giving a bit of a glow. It's so, so nice. It's a super soft formula. And if you will see, well, I know you will see the pictures because I will insert them. <laughs> I've finally managed to hit the side of the pen, which is quite a good progress from where we've been. But I find that this blush is so nice to use. It's not a hassle at all. I love, 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 absolutely love this. It's so amazing. And obviously it's been a really expensive product, but it's been limited edition, so you can't get it anymore. Also, Tom Ford is not cruelty free. So once it's gone, it's gone. And I'm so sad about that because this is so lovely. But what can you do? At least I know I get a good use out of it. And it's just super pretty. I mean, will I be able to finish this by the end of the year? If I really push it, maybe. I don't know. I might have been a bit too ambitious with it. But I feel like every time I get really good progress with it. But there's still quite a lot left in there. So we'll see. But I feel like I did a good going with it this month as well. Or, well, the past month, technically. The second product, again, is something that I've had... In here from the beginning and if I remember correctly yeah I think last month I could not put a new sticker on it but this month I made a tiniest bit of progress not a lot not as much as in the beginning let me show you so there you go with the new sticker is the pink one on the bottom and I didn't actually mention what it is so far it's the Illamasqua broken gel and I find it a lot trickier to use than I did in the beginning. I think I experimented a lot with it. I use it in the inner corners, I use it on my cheeks, I use it on my lips. And I don't love it on the lips a lot. In the inner corner it can be a bit tricky depending on how much you apply. But actually today I applied it on my cheeks as a highlighter. And I only used a glowy primer which was the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Then I used the Hourglass Powder and then this on the cheeks so all round I think I have quite a glowy complexion which I'm not mad about but yeah I have it today on as a highlight as well and I think in the viewfinder if I look at it it looks quite nice but in the mirror you can definitely see like little specks of like silver which I mean it's called a broken gel so it might have been a bit ambitious of me to put this in this project because with this one as well I said that I want to use it up 
I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, but what would be quite interesting to do as well, which I actually haven't done yet, is just to apply this all over the lid and nothing else. So maybe I can try that for the next update and this see how that works. I haven't done that yet because if you put it on top of powder or cream you have to be really careful not to move around the product under it so we'll see. Maybe that way I can get a bit more use out of it. I really do enjoy it. I do feel like it's a versatile product but again it can be a bit tricky to use sometimes because it's such a specific kind of thing but we'll see. I feel like, you know, I started all the way up there and I went down here in the few months that I've been using it since January, so I'm quite happy with that, you know. Sometimes slow and steady wins the race. Also, if you want to see how I created my makeup look today, or more so just my eyes, and then also everything I use on my face is listed in the description of that video, it's this week's Use Them Shadows, so I'm gonna link it in the card so you can check it out for yourself if you want to see. But for now, let's move on. Now the next two products I always show them side by side and this is definitely one that's a rather slow progress and I was so stupid to put these both in here but that's me all over again, I make bad decisions sometimes when it comes to project penning. So there are two paint pots and one of them is Groundwork and the other one is Perky. Obviously they are both from MAC and Groundwork is a lot older than, um, what's it called? Than Perky. <laughs> and I think I used each of them maybe once or twice since the last update but not more than two times. So I'm not sure you will be able to see any difference at all in the pictures unfortunately. I tried to make sure that I use them but one we are at home and two with all the other makeup looks that I'm doing these just don't fully work out. To be fair I could have used the peachy one today but I, I forgot it happens. <laughs> so I'm really sorry with these ones unfortunately there's not a lot of progress that you're gonna see. I'm trying but you know there's only that much you need under each eyeshadow look that I create. Also what I thought I might do with Groundwork because I feel like it could benefit from it is mix it up all together and then press it down in the pen again. So essentially I would have to hit pen again in this. I don't know. Um, I'll see. If I do that I will definitely take a picture for you of the repressed version so you can see again from that point on how much progress I make. But we'll see, I haven't fully decided yet if I want to do it. And then the last product is my Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. And this still has a huge air bubble in there somewhere. But let me show you where I am. Look at that! So that's where we were after the first update. Then we went down here and now we are all the way there on the bottom. I think it can be a bit hard to see. There you go. Why is my line so hard to see? There is my line. So there is, I can even see it holding against the light. There's barely, barely anything left in there. And I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Does it do a lot? I don't know. I prefer my Becca one just because that's more balmy. This is a bit more moussey. It's nice though. I feel like sometimes more is more. With this, what I find, and it, it, it sometimes is more, is, Oh my god. <laughs> so what I find with this, that sometimes more is more, which is not always the case, but with this one I find that it helps and it actually makes my eyes a bit more hydrated that way. But still, I just don't enjoy the formula as much, but it's an okay product. Does it really help with anything though? I'm not sure it does, but I bought it, so I'm gonna use it because I hate throwing products away. <laughs> So we're gonna go with this. I'm pretty sure that by next month or next update this will be gone. I mean, I might cut it open. I don't know. I just, again, dedication. I like, I just like using every product up till the last drop. So we'll see. But this for sure will be gone by next update. If not, I think I'm doing something really wrong. Although sometimes when you cut a product open, then you notice there's a lot more left in there than what you could actually just squeeze out, so if there's a product that you really love and it's in a tube, after there's nothing coming out, cut it open and I can guarantee you there will be so much left in there, so definitely do that, but 
that's that gone so i feel like out of my how many products is that five two four five yes i feel like out of my five products i did good progress on three of them and well the paint pots just forget about those <laughs> but other than that i feel like i did quite good progress on the rest of them so i don't know let me know what you think about the progress and hopefully i will see you in my next video so if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this then click on the link below or i have one of my project pen videos also tagged after this bit and yeah i'm gonna go now because i clearly can't talk anymore have a lovely day bye bye yeah.